What you time is it? You know what time it is. It's time to hit that subscribe button. You know just where it's at. Right down there. Right down there. And it's time to find my Instagram. It's Geekly Amanda. G E E K L Y Amanda. It's the same on Twitter. Make sure to follow me both places. And it's time to get this little ranking on. have told y'all I just finished season three of Mahabharat. I'm so I'm through with season one. I know they got like 20 some more seasons. I'm gonna get through them but I'm enjoying them and so many people have asked they're like who's your favorite character in Mahabharat? I'm like I can't answer that yet because I haven't you know even been introduced to so many of the characters. Well, I feel like now I have a good little understanding of at least the ones from the first three seasons. So the ones that have come into play so far into the story, I'm going to rank those. Not ones that I haven't seen. And and I'm not even going to crew because number one would always probably be Krishna. <laughs> you know I love me some Krishna. But, you know, he's not in the story yet. Although he comes in with his little wise words and stuff. But he hasn't really made an entrance. In, so he... He's not on this, and and he's already number one always. So yeah, I might not. It probably wouldn't even be fair, maybe, to add him when he does come in the story. I'll see. But in the meantime, we're gonna top five. We'll go five, four, three, two, one. Rank the characters from the first three seasons who I like. So number five is Kunti. Ah, you know Kunti has to be on my list. I love Kunti and I think because she has such good values. She's a strong woman. Like even when she's hurt and stuff. Remember when he brought that second wife Madri and she was still. She went and greeted her and did the little thing and all. Kunti has some good values. And she was even, she was the one even telling the Pandu. She was like don't, don't shoot that deer. He didn't do nothing to you. That's an innocent deer. If only more people would li have listened to Kunti, things might have been a little better, Pandu. <laughs> if you listen to Kunti, Pandu, things might have been a little better. But she, I love her. She's made my list number four. Number four. Right. Number four is Beam. You know I gotta love somebody that loves snacks as much as I do. <laughs> you know. And Beam is just so funny and he's always having snacks and a jokester. He's just a cute, but he also has this little bit of innocence in him, right? A little bit of innocence where, I don't know if it's innocence or maybe a little naive, where he just trusts people a little too much. <laughs> he does. But you have to love those kind of qualities about people. Those are, they're kind of good hearted, you know? They trust people and just innocent because they don't look at people and see the bad qualities in them. They see the good, and I like that about Beam. So he made my list as number three. Number three is Bishma. I mean, who can't have a list of the top five of these seasons and not have Bishma? Bishma, he will stand by his word. He's a man of his word. He is and and righteousness. Although he he's not always made the best decisions, right? He's always there's some decision. I'm like Bishma, why you did that? Like now, if you would have just did this, it probably would have been better. But he, every decision he makes, I think he makes with a, a heart of like wanting to do the right thing. Righteousness. He always wants to do the right thing for people and, and what he believes is the right things. And, and it's always, you know, good, good in spirit. And it's always, like I said, good hearted. And, you know, he's not, he doesn't really make decisions based on bad intentions. You know what I mean? So I think, and I mean, hello, he's cute too. <laughs> I think B Bishma's cute. And I was, I was like, he could, look, he could have been the king and, and had wives and stuff, but he, he wanted to do right by his family. And that's just the kind of guy he is. And that's how, why he's on my list is number three. Number two is Gandhari. Are you shocked by this one? <laughs> well, I know some people like later on, she might not always have like, done the best things I don't know people some people love her some people hate her but these first three seasons like you just Kendari is just so selfless she just does things you know to make up like her blind she did that blinded not to be you know mean or anything but just because she wanted to be selfless and given to her husband like the thing and she's always just sweet and good-hearted 
to, to Kunti who comes in and, and the other little Pandava boys. It just seems like she loves them like family too. She even knows that her brothers like can have like some stuff up to no good. And she makes sure, like she's told him like, you stay out of this. You don't cause trouble. This is my family. I love her heart. She does have a good heart. Even when she's done wrong, when, when the blind king was mean to her, and all she wanted to do is make him happy. So that's why Gandari gets the second place. It might come like, this is from the first three episodes of my ranking. So right now she's in my second place. What do y'all think my number one is? What do y'all think my number one is? Number one, here we go, is Arjun. I do love him. <laughs> now, I know he hasn't been seen too much in this. Well, I mean, it hasn't been any stories like focus in depth on him. But you can just see his personality in every little thing he's in. Because he's the one there, like he's he's the good hearted. He listens to his elder's mother and his elder brothers and and he always seems the right thing. But also he has that feistiness in him where he's just like, all right, I'm gonna do the right thing. But let me tell you, I know what you're doing. Like he will speak up. What you're doing is wrong, even though we're doing this right thing. Like he speaks up and, and has this, tells his little mind. And I just, I, you got to appreciate that feistiness. Maybe Marjun, I'm biased. I told you I'm biased. When I took that little quiz, it said I'm most like him. And that's probably why he appeals to me too, because he has a lot of the qualities I see in myself that I like. And so, and he's got that skill with the archery. I just feel like in, in the future, he's going to do great things. I'd like to see y'all's list. Now, remember, we're sticking to the characters the first three seasons. But let me know what's on yours and what you think about mine. <laughs> all right. Comment. Comment down below. Thumbs, comments, all that. Until next time. Mwah.